hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a particle of mass m and charge q is projected with a velocity v naught in a viscous medium where a uniform and constant magnetic field of induction b exists everywhere in a direction perpendicular to the direction of projection of the particle the force of viscous drag on the particle is given by the law this one b is a positive constant v is the velocity of the particle find the distance traveled by the particle during a time interval from the instant of projection until velocity vector turns by radius sorry turns by 2 pi radians fine so similar kind of question we have done earlier so it won't be much of a problem to solve this one so let us analyze the question as i have discussed earlier that uh, when there is no magnetic field and only the resistive medium is present if you throw a particle with a speed v naught right if you throw a particle with a speed v naught slowly the resistive medium decreases its speed okay suppose suppose at some instant of time the speed becomes v1 decreases to v1 and at that time the distance traveled by the particle is s okay now let us imagine the same situation when magnetic field is present in a direction perpendicular to the plane of the screen okay now if the particle is thrown with an initial speed of v naught the magnetic force comes into action tries to rotate the particle but due to this resistive force the speed of the particle decreases decreasing the radius of the path right and as the speed is decreasing it will collapse to a single point after some time so in the question they have asked what is the distance traveled until the velocity vector turns by 2 pi radians okay so when the velocity vector turns by 2 pi radians the particle must reach at this point as we know that here is an extra force is acting that is the magnetic force which is perpendicular to the direction of motion so it does not do any work right so ultimately the work is done only by the resistive force so the distance traveled in this situation at any given time interval will be equal to the distance traveled in this situation right because here magnetic field is only changing the direction of the motion not the length of the distance traveled right so i have considered that after rotating by 2 pi radians the velocity vector becomes of magnitude v1 right so this distance in absence of magnetic field will be equal to this distance in presence of magnetic field right so if i use the concept of magnetic field the situation would be very critical equations would be very complicated it we won't be able to solve the distance okay for displacement it would have been a better choice but for distance i will go with this one okay so at any instant the force acting on the particle of course there is absence of magnetic field i have considered because in, if we work with distance both the situations are same so m a equals to minus b v okay and uh, m dv dt equals to minus b v so integrating from v naught to v for any time t we get the expression of v that is the speed this this one so the speed of the particle is changing with time like this now ds dt equals to this one that is the distance traveled okay so integrating again from 0 to t for a distance s we get the expression of distance looking like this now we just need to know the time after which the velocity vector will turn by 2 pi radians okay of course the velocity vector will turn by 2 pi radians in one time period now let us check the concept of time period here for any instant suppose the particle is here the formula for time period is 2 pi r divided by v which will yield you a result of 2 pi m by q b which is constant because of course as the speed is decreasing with time the radius is also decreasing keeping the ratio of r by v constant so the time period won't change it does not depend on presence or absence of magnetic field so just put the value of t i mean this t 
as one time period right so 2 pi m by qb will be placed here so the final expression for the distance traveled would look something like this okay so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace